In You Can't Take It With You, Harper plays the role of Grandpa. Every day, he would come to rehearsal for anywhere between two to seven hours. Now, do you know why? For those of you who are not yet acquainted with the art of theater, do you know why? The world is representation, but art brings us closer to heaven. Assuming a state of full immersion, allow me to explain. Think of what theater looks like, words on a page, then picture what theater eventually becomes. A single source presupposed by countless different interpretations. This property makes it fundamentally different from many other things. Given that perceptibility is equivalent to existence, at that moment, Harper exists as Grandpa. Not only that, he exists as the ideal Grandpa, outrunning both his worldly identity and the rigorous societal laws binding his pursuit of idealism. It is no less than a miracle. Generally, a justified true belief is accepted as knowledge. As an audience member prepares themselves for the performance of a play, they enter a peculiar state of mind, commonly known as sat back and relaxed, and less commonly known as the voluntary brain in a vat scenario. In this state, an audience member opens their mind, becoming susceptible to the formation of beliefs, allowing the story to act as both proof and justification. Thus, the formation of knowledge becomes possible, not dreams, not fantasies, but to a certain extent, concrete, defined knowledge. And when the actors and the audience become immersed in this addictive process of knowing, unity is reached. Quoting director William Ball, founder of the American Conservatory Theater, oblivious to past or future, and totally unaware of the passage of time. As for what happens in the Patil Theater, though a memory you can keep, the magic of the moment, you can't take it with you.